welcome to dental boards review channel uh, so this presentation or this video lecture okay is going to discuss how to pass nbde one the emergency study plan for nbde all right so we know that at the beginning of uh, august 2020 nbde part one is no longer going to be given and it's going to be integrated i nbde okay all right so we only this is an emergency plan because we only have a few months to study for and pass nbde part one all right so it's an emergency rescue and i'll tell you uh, why it's an emergency rescue okay so when you are focused on an emergency for example your patient has a, a a heart attack or has a stroke or so you you are focused on that emergency okay all your energies are focused on reviving and resuscitating the patient so this this plan okay make sure you watch the, the entire lecture or the entire presentation to the end if you follow this plan okay you are going to pass you just have to make sure that you implement it and you stick to the plan okay all right so some of you i know have uh, taken it before and we're going to discuss the things that uh, you have to change so that you can pass your exam all right so make sure you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe so you can receive a notification for the new video lectures all right so nbd part one number one thing that you have to do is you have to schedule your exam date okay so make sure you schedule and some people will say no you don't have to schedule until after you are ready okay that's false because when you schedule scheduling gives you a deadline and and most of us are very good at getting things done when we have a deadline in mind so make sure you schedule and this is going to to uh, keep you structured and it's going to keep you on your toes okay i'll keep you focused so in terms of scheduling the the time frame to uh, for for scheduling or for your preparation for this emergency plan okay is two weeks to three and a half months okay and two weeks two weeks is mostly for uh, uh, those of you who are still in uh, dental school or who just graduated okay so you can actually review the 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 notes quickly and practice uh, some exams and go and take your exam and still pass okay we have people i have uh, my students who have done it before i have uh, uh, colleagues who have done it before okay so you have to make sure that you know your level if you are still in dental school or you just graduated dental school uh, you can do it in within two weeks okay but you have to implement this plan if you graduated a, a long time ago i give you a maximum of uh, of uh, of three three and a half months okay some people are studying for six months the problem of studying so six months is that you end up forgetting what you started you, you started with uh, studying before and then in the middle of uh, the three months then you meet somebody else who say oh no i use this strategy to study and then you end up changing strategies so you end up forgetting or being overwhelmed with uh what you, you you're supposed to be focused on okay so make sure you keep your studying short so three and a half months is sufficient for you to pass this exam it doesn't matter what when you graduated just make sure you follow this plan okay all right so number one is schedule your exam date if you haven't done so and you're studying stop and make sure you do everything to schedule your exam before you continue okay number two select your study sources okay so one we we we, we, we schedule for the exam okay and number two, you select your study sources. There are so many study sources, okay? So many of them that you have to pick at least two. 
So if you look at the upper uh, uh, right hand side here, you see that we have two, okay? Two books or two study sources, all right? And this way, you are going to, be, to, 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 to remain focused on your goal. And the goal is to do what? To pass, okay? To pass in as little time as possible and make sure that we move on to, the, to our next uh, 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 endeavor, okay? Our next goal. So, and also, when you have less resources, okay, a few resources, it, this decreases your anxiety. That's why I put here. This decreases your anxiety. You are not overwhelmed with so much information. That's why I'm recommending you pick one to two study sources. And the, the fewer sources, the better. Okay? Versus when you pick this uh, bunch of books or bunch of resources, which are going to, you, you are not going to have time to review all these things. And then those resources may have conflicting information and the more conflict if conflicting information you get the more you waste time trying to find out what is the right information so you end up becoming confused or anxious okay so we have to eliminate that so number one schedule number two select your study sources one to two study sources now what what do i recommend for you to study all right make sure that i'll recommend my videos but in this case, I'm recommending you to have dental decks, okay, and a dental mastery app, all right? So the dental decks are going to give you a structured review resource, and most of the uh, national board's uh, uh, material are found in the dental decks. Now, it doesn't matter... The, the year of the dental decks. You can use the dental decks from 2013 to 2014 or uh, 2014 to 2015. Okay. As long as it's, uh, it's within that uh, 2000, uh, from 2013 up to cur the current dental decks, you can use those. Okay. So make sure you select dental decks. All right. And then number two, get a dental mastery app. All right. And this are the resources that I recommend. Make sure you get those, okay, if you want to follow this study strategy and pass the exam within a few months, all right? So, let's move on. Number three, make sure you buy a notebook and pens, okay? So, there are people who study without uh, taking notes. You must take notes okay so you have to for, for you to do that don't just write your notes in uh, in uh, in uh, in just uh, black or, or blue okay make sure you get different colored pencils or highlighters and this is going to help a lot so remember visual some people are visual learners but also it's going to to make your your studying interesting okay uh, because life is not black and white okay it's full of colors, so you have to make sure that you make this studying interesting, okay, by making it colorful for yourself, all right? Studying for this exam is not the easiest thing, or it's not the most in, uh, interesting thing, because you are confined in, in one room and you are studying, or in one area and you are focused on your studying, so it can be draining, but if you, if you, if you uh, keep colors in your mind, it, that also helps with, uh, with your concentration, okay? So... Number three is get a notebook and colored pens or highlighters, okay? So make sure you do number one, number two, and number three. Let's look at number four. Number four is to create a study time, okay? Some people will say, no, I don't have time. I work too much or I have kids. I have to cook for them. I work too much. Okay, if you have children, you if you you um you may have you you may have a husband or a spouse. Okay, make sure that your husband supports or 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 your wife supports your goal. Okay, the goal is to pass, so you have to make sure that you understand. And if you have a partner, okay, make sure that they understand your 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 study plan, and 
let them you can make you can make your study plan together with your partner make sure that you they understand okay if the children come from school we're gonna do this make sure they have dinner to eat or the the husband or the wife will take care of, or, or your partner okay who's going to take care of uh, putting the children to bed after they, they go to bed you have some you you can study at least four hours so for this exam you have to study for at least four hours daily i don't recommend any less okay if you're going to follow this schedule make sure you follow you study at least four hours but the the majority that you need you need to study is at least six hours daily okay now there are 24 hours okay this is 1 a.m and this is uh, 12 a.m so uh midnight so 24 hours so you have to pick during this time these 24 hours you have to pick the time you have to create it you cannot say i don't have time you have to create it okay remember the beginning what uh, the beginning of the slide that we said this is an emergency so you have to make sure that you keep your study plan and your goal alive so you have to make sure you create time okay so you can study in the morning if you are if you are if you are if you are, if you are, if you are a, a night person you can study you can wake up 1 a.m study for four hours up to 4 a.m okay eat your breakfast and uh whatever you like to do uh, between breakfast and if you if you start your work at 8 a.m then you can be at work 5 or 5 5 5 p.m you're off work okay and you can also do some reviews okay between uh, 6 p.m and and uh for example 10 a, 10 p.m okay but you have to find time and as i said at least four hours but the recommended uh, time is six hours at least okay six hours of uninterrupted okay so there's no interruption during this time and interrupted okay no interruption so no excuses here okay find four to six hours that you can study early the longer you can study the better if you are if you if you can if you can take uh, some time off work for example okay for for a few weeks make sure that uh, you you talk to your bosses about your goal okay and if your boss does not support your goal that's not a good boss okay so make sure you talk to 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 to, to your boss most 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 uh, bosses will understand and they'll give you some time off to study okay but create time all right so no excuses for this okay this is an emergency study plan make sure you create time okay drink coffee or something if you are sleepy there's a lot of things exercise uh you can you can there's a there's another study method whereby if you're if you're asleep you study for one hour take 15, 15 minutes nap study uh, uh wake up again Study for another one hour, take 15 minutes now. If you are tired, okay, you can do that. That's why I put an alarm clock here. You can set up an alarm clock, okay, and do that, all right? But the goal is to pass this exam, and I know you can do it, okay? It's been done before. All right, so number five, select a study environment. You can go to a coffee shop if you like to study in that kind of environment. For me, that's what I love. I can study anywhere okay coffee shop loud noises uh a, a football game if it's if it's boring football game okay it's noisy it doesn't matter okay so ability to adapt to different environment i can study in the library i can study at home i can study watching tv i can study with the music on so make sure you pick your study environment okay if you're always tired i don't i don't uh, i don't recommend you to choose a quiet environment if you're tired you need a noisy environment which is going to keep you awake okay all right so make sure you assess uh how much time you had you have and how much tired if you are working too hard make sure you you can uh, cut off your 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 uh your work hours or you can also carry some notes and study on your breaks okay that's why i said to get the mastery up on your break if you're at work you get 15 minutes break breaks you can do some questions on your 15 minutes break and take notes okay so that's why i said there's no excuse for lack of time you can always find the time to study okay this is the goal the goal our goal is to pass all right
All right. And then make sure wherever you're studying, okay, make sure you have little resources on the table. So you put the, you, you take the table, you clear the table. When you clear the table, that's going to ease your anxiety. So when there's too much clutter on the table, our mind feels clouded. It's not clear. Okay. But so you clear the table and you put your pencils, you get your notebook that you bought and you get the dental decks. I don't, so the, the for the dental decks, only get put on the table, only the section you are working on and the rest of the sections, put them away, hide them far away. The only time you're going to go get them is when you are done with one section and you need to pick another section. Okay. So this also reduces clutter, reduces your anxiety and keeps you focused. All right. All right. So moving on. Number six. Now this is a big one. Okay. This one, you have to be well disciplined. Okay. Number six is to limit your social media access while you're studying. Okay. I repeat, limit your social media access while you're studying. Make sure you log off. Okay. That's why I said at the beginning, pick your sources. Okay. Pick your sources at the beginning. Before you start studying, pick your sources. All right. You can go on the social media, you can ask around, you can do whatever you want. But at the end of that, make sure you pick your sources to study. And I recommend that the best sources that you, you, you can use to study to pass this exam. And that's it. Okay. And then just when, you're, when you sit down to study, make sure you log off. Okay. Log off your account. Turn off the notifications on your phone. And this is going to help you focus. Okay. And also, when you turn, when you, when you log off the social media, you are not receiving those uh, notifications and not, you are not constantly logging in to check. Okay. Now, this is not easy. This is hard for some people who, who live on social media. Okay. It's not easy at all, but it can be done. Okay. It used to be, it, it was done before the social media came. We can still do it okay so this is an emergency plan and we have to do what's necessary for us to pass so log off your social media okay now after you log off and also you can turn off your phone while you're studying okay if you're studying for four hours definitely turn off your phone completely don't even touch it for four hours okay if you are studying for six hours i recommend that we're going to discuss this in the subsequent slide Every three hours, you take 15 minutes break. During your 15 minutes, you can you can turn on your, your phone, answer any messages or voicemails that were left, okay? And after your 15 minutes is over, turn your phone back off, okay? And focus. Make sure you focus on the goal. The goal is to study and pass, okay? So, at the, at the end of the day, or at the end of each study session, okay, you, I, I know you punished yourself by uh, by logging off the social media. So you can reward yourself by logging back in at the end of the session, see what's happening, communicate with your families and friends, okay, chit chat before you go to bed, okay. You can do that. That's your reward because you have worked hard, you have sacrificed, okay. So I know it's hard, but you have to do it. If it was easy everyone would do it but since we have a, only a few months for us to pass nbd1 this is the plan that we need to implement okay all right so make sure you limit your social media access very important here all right number seven the order of section of study session matters okay now this is very important to your success. Okay. This is very important to your success. All right. So pay attention. Okay. Number one. Number one is I want you to study dental anatomy and occlusion. 
Okay? That's number one. Don't proceed. Don't study anything else except this when you start. Make sure if you, you do it and finish the section in the Dental Dex and finish the section in the Dental Mastery app. Okay? That's number one. And this is critical uh, in, the, in terms of your sequencing. Okay? So this is the sequence in the, in the order of importance. Okay? For this exam. All right? So in the concept in in the in the in the in the in the in the, in the context of uh, of uh, of NBDA one, okay, this is the order of importance. I know people who start studying by reviewing biochemistry, physiology, and then they do uh, microbiology, pathology. They do anatomic sciences and they do dental anatomy last. No, 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 no. That's that's you are wasting your time. Okay. So this is the order. If you want to pass within this uh, uh, short, short time during this emergency plan, do dental anatomy first. Know everything in dental anatomy and occlusion. Okay. Again, I repeat, know everything in dental anatomy and occlusion. After all, you are a dentist. Okay. If a dentist knows uh, anatomic sciences, microbiology, and biochemistry, but they don't know anything about dental anatomy and occlusion, come on, what kind of dentist is that, right? So, the most the important things first: study dental anatomy and occlusion. Number two, after you finish the dental anatomy in the dental dex and dental mastery, okay, up, then you go to Number two, anatomic sciences. Now, I don't want you to do it to the abdomen, the foot, okay? Make sure you, you focus on the head and neck anatomy. Make sure you memorize or know all the structures, the head and neck anatomy. All of them, okay? No exceptions, okay? And then, from there, you can focus on the, on the major organs. Okay, the major organs in the rest of the body will be the heart, the kidneys. Okay, make sure you write this down. So the heart, the kidneys, uh, the pancreas, okay, uh, the gallbladder, and of course you can focus on the intestine. Uh, but but uh, the the main the main thing that you need to focus on the heart. Did I mention the lungs? The lungs too. Okay, so heart, lungs, liver, pancreas, gallbladder. Those are the things you need to focus on. Of course, the stomach, when it comes to the stomach, you need to focus on the stomach, the, the, the secretions of acids. Okay? So make sure you focus on. But the main thing is what I'm trying to emphasize is head and neck anatomy. Number three is microbiology and pathology. However, it's not everything that is important in this area. So, what's important in this area of studying? So, if you focus on these two here, for this emergency plan, make sure you know everything in this area, okay? Dental anatomy occlusion, anatomic sciences, head and neck, okay? Make sure you know everything on TMJ, all right? Make sure you know your dental, uh, 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 your, your dentitions, uh, eruption sequences, Okay, classifications, all those things. You need to know those things. Anatomic sciences, uh, focus on the head and neck. Okay, uh, the uh, TMJ. And um, of course, you have to focus on the heart. And then when it comes to microbiology, make sure you focus on, on the things that matter. Okay, in dentistry. So what matters in dentistry? Okay, bacteria that causes caries. Okay, you're always dealing with caries, so that is important, right? And then uh, what else you need to focus on? Bacteria, viruses, okay? Uh, herpes, we always see people with herpes, so make sure you focus on that to, to review. So bacteria, herpes, okay? And uh, also, you, you need to focus on the, on the, uh, on the uh, periodontal disease, okay? Uh, focus on the immunoglobulins, okay? And you have to focus on, yeah, sorry, uh, it says uh, I need to call mom there, the, 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 the reminder. We always have to keep our family connected, okay? Um, 
So the the thing that you need to focus on microbiology is not everything. You have to focus on what matters to dentistry, right? Okay, for you to pass this exam. All right. And then uh, for, for, the, for the pathology part, you have to make sure that you, you understand the, the, the pathology of uh, bones, okay? Uh, acromegaly, you need to understand the, the, the uh, acid reflux issues, the erosion, the H. pyroli, okay? Um, you have to understand the, uh, the, uh, the soft tissue lesions in the mouth, okay? Pathologies. Uh, Coxsackie uh, virus, uh, e uh, EBV, okay? Uh, so those, those are the things you need to focus on the pathology uh, uh, section, okay? All right. And uh, of course, the things that causes bleeding, you need to, 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 to focus on that too, all right? Thrombocytopenias, anemias, um, uh, hemophilia. So you have to know those things, okay? biochemistry so i put biochemistry in the end here okay and physiology all right uh, so most of you usually study biochemistry first okay uh because maybe you have not studied it and then it's very intimidating so you want to tackle that section first uh but don't do that okay but biochemistry you don't study it's a it's a large section in the dental deck so you don't study everything so what do you focus on? The things what matters most, okay? The things that give us energy, okay? Like glycolysis, oxidative phosphorylation, okay? Those are the things you need to focus on. And then uh, you need to focus on red blood cells when it comes to physiology, red blood cells, okay? You have to focus on the heme. You have to focus on the, 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 the oxygen saturation curves, okay? Uh, you have to focus on the enzyme, enzymes, okay? The Vmax, the KM uh, of the of the of uh, of substances, okay? And then the physiology of the heart, the kidneys, the liver. Remember the major organs. You don't have to go de into details. And then uh, the main the main system that you understand you need to understand. When you understand this, you are actually understand how most of the major organs work. Is the is the RAS system, the renin angiotensin aldosterone system. And I repeat, on the physiology, if you're, go if you're going to understand the multiple uh, organs, if you understand how the renin angiotensin aldosterone system works, then mo uh, mostly you, you, you understand how uh, the, you have the, 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 the basic idea of how the major organs work, okay? So make sure you focus on that. All right. If you have any questions, uh, make sure you 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 email me at admin at the uh, D board. Okay. Exams. Dot com, or you can comment on this uh, on on this uh, video, and uh, I'll I'll answer you. Okay. All right. Now, let's talk about organization, taking notes. This is very, very critical. Okay. Now, dental anatomy. Remember, I put dental anatomy as an example because that's going to be the first thing that you're going to, to review, right? From our plan, from our, this emergency plan that's going to allow us to pass. Okay. So, organization is the key. And I'll tell you why. Why I asked you to get a notebook in the first place. So, you need to take notes, number one. Okay. By the notebook, is going to allow us to actually uh, review before the exam. Review the most important points that are, are significant in, in each section that we studied. And some concepts that we need to review before our exam. Okay, and the notebook is going to give you structured. It's going to be one source with a summary of your notes. Okay, just to review. All right. So, and I'll show you how to record. Number one, to keep you structured, you need to record your start time. So, I'll, I'll show you how uh, the example of my notebook. Okay, so record the start time. For example, 
it says uh, 8 or 5 a.m. Okay, 2000, uh, 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 December 3rd, 2019. Start. Okay, start. So, and then I'll, I'll say if I'm reading a card, for example, this is the, not the actual information on the card. This is an example. So, the card, uh, dental deck card number, and then I put the number. Okay, because if, I, if, if I'm reviewing my notebook and I'm reading the information, and I know, okay, if I have a question on that on that card, I can look at the I can look at the dental anatomy section, go to the card number, and read the information. So it's very easy for referencing instead of flipping through the entire uh, dental deck section trying to find that similar information. And then, how do I record? That's why I asked you to get colored pens. So you record, for example, uh, dental follicle sac. Okay. Uh, you write it down you you underline it and then you 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 make uh the uh, uh bullet points uh, so you have cementum and uh, you write it either in blue pen okay and then uh pdl you write you write it in black pen and then in in uh in red pen you write the available so these are the structures that originate from the dental follicle right so uh, if, you're, if you if you if you if you if 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 you are tired of uh, of switching pens, you can always one buy the, those uh, big pens with uh, where you can switch different colors, or you can just use uh, one pen, write with the same color, and use a highlighter. Okay, so you can highlight with different colors, and then at the end of the day, you record your stop time. So here, for example, I recorded the, the start time as 8 uh, 8.05 a.m. And the, the end time, I said 8.05 p.m. stop time. So when you go back, you can assess how you've been doing. Okay. And this way, you know how well you are doing and whether you're being productive in terms of studying. If you've been studying for 12 hours, okay and what you have written down is like two sentences then you know you're not productive in your studying okay so you have to see it's, it's not necessary that uh, the amount of uh, information you write down is equivalent to how much you are retaining it's just that more for most of the information in the dental decks you're going to write down uh, quite a lot okay and so or this is going to uh, keep you in line make you focused okay all right so and then as i mentioned before for every three hours you need a 15 minutes break and this is uh for for scientific purposes been proven that uh if you study for three hours then your brain is tired you need rest for that uh for for, for that information to be well well uh uh, uh stored okay it's not uh, st stored in the long term immediately, but at least uh, it's, it, uh, it sticks better, okay? And this 15 minutes break, actually, you can either uh, be on your phone in the 15 minutes break, but what I recommend is that you can always close your eyes for 15 minutes. That's going to be very helpful. Remember, your eyes need rest too. You've been focusing on the information, reading, but you need to close your eyes and put your eyes... To rest for 15 minutes all right so very important for every three hours take 15 minutes break okay which is the reason i recommended that you study at least four hours but the the the, the amount of uh, uh recommendation recommend uh, that time i recommend is six hours okay of studying but i understand that most of you may be working so you don't have the entire six hours so you can get four hours but make sure that those four hours are productive okay and at the end of each day, at the end of each day, and I mean each day, make sure you do questions on the mastery app, okay, on the section that you are currently studying. So if you're doing dental anatomy each day before you go to sleep, okay, make sure you do some questions before you go to sleep and write down what is wrong. Okay, if you get something wrong, make sure you write down 
the concept or, or the explanation write down in your notebook and when you write it down make sure you say dental mastery app question or uh, section dental anatomy question blah 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 you can say number 10 or 11 but make sure that you write it in your notebook it's going to be very helpful i'm telling you okay and then once everything is done when you are relaxing uh you can go in your notebook and and uh, so usually on your notebook on on things that you need clarification you can always put a star or a mark and you can always go back and and uh when you see a star around then you can watch a video on that concept or topic okay for clarification there's a lot of video uh on, on youtube uh we call it a uh, university of youtube you can you can go to university of youtube youtube and study a lot but because we are limited with time, this is an emergency study plan. You really need to study, highlight the topics, write them down that the topics that you are you you need clarification on. And then at the end of the day, after you have reviewed your mastery app, you can go on videos, watch the video concepts, and take notes. Okay? You can you can in your notebook and you say, oh, video, title, YouTube, the blah 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 blah. And you can write the explanation they give, okay, on that topic. And the reason I say that at the end of the day, uh, watch the videos. Because if you start watching the videos wh while you are studying, then you're going to lose your concentration. Okay, you're going to lose thought. And then uh, because sometimes you see one video and then you see another video. And then by the time you, you end up, you are, you are watching a video on, on a, a, a do it yourself something. Okay, so. That's why I say at the end of the day, watch videos. Don't you watch videos while you're studying. Watch, study, take notes. The things that you need clarifications, take notes and mark them. And then at the end of the day after Mastery App, you can watch the videos for clarification. Okay? All right. Okay. Now, close to the exam. If you are working... Okay, if you are working, then you can talk to your boss. Remember, you talk to your boss at the beginning about your plan, right? About your goal. So you can talk to your boss to take a week off or two weeks off before your exam. Okay, this is critical. And during this time, make sure you take one timed practice exam. Now, the exam is, a, is a, at least 400 questions. So you're not going to take the entire 400 questions. That's going to take you almost the entire day. Okay. So that's not good. So you can take half of the exam timed 200 questions. Do 200 questions. Okay. Timed without any disturbance. Okay. Yeah, excuse me. So 200 questions timed without any disturbance. Okay. And, and then see how you do. And this is going to show you if you, whether you have stamina stamina to do 200 questions or oh, this time is they give you uh, 100 questions and then a break 100 question break so it's going to show you whether you have a stamina to do those amount of questions and still maintain your focus okay and then if after these 200 questions you get the question wrong make sure you take notes on all the questions you get wrong and write down the explanation okay and then make sure you write it in your notebook and then during this time after you have uh, reviewed, you have done everything, review your summary notebook. Okay. And uh, what to do for the day of the exam or, or the day before the exam. I have, I have put this uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, my, in my, uh, one of the videos before. Okay. Uh, it's, it's titled uh, how to prepare for the exam day. Okay. Uh, make sure you, you, you watch that. So you have uh, the, 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 the information which is there. Very critical information. But also, it's very important uh, that on the exam day, you don't study, okay? Don't, uh, 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 actually not on the exam day, I mean on the, on the day before the exam. On the day before the exam, do not study. You may be anxious saying, oh no, I have forgotten everything, I have to review this. But I repeat again, don't study on the day before the exam. Just go relax watch your favorite movie eat popcorns if you like popcorns okay go somewhere okay go to a spa somewhere get a massage whatever okay go visit friends family talk to them 
all right but do not study and then make sure you eat and go to bed early and then wake up early for example i say uh 4 to 5 a.m that you can wake up around that time okay eat a good breakfast pack your 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 your, your snacks okay a power bar uh, or some 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 juice okay and a sandwich and your lunch okay you need energy for this exam to stay focused all right so make sure you watch that video but i put this together because we have a limited time to take nbd part one and uh, most students uh, have been asking uh, what can they do okay and so make sure you implement this plan okay if you have any questions again you can email me at admin at dboardexams.com okay and i read it down here it's a uh, admin at d board so this is all a r d exams dot com or you can pretty much comment uh on this on this on this video and i'll answer you okay all right so let's look at the summary so the summary is be disciplined be disciplined maintain a consistent and uh, the key is consistent don't study today and then three days later you want to study and then uh another you know two days later you study no be, be consistent okay and for this plan to work you need daily studying daily studying uh, with a minimum of four hours okay focusing on the sections that i mentioned before in the order of importance okay and then so first you need to register for the exam uh time frame for two weeks for those people who are just in, still in dental school or for those people who just graduated or up to four months okay do not do more than uh, 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 uh four months preparation tell your family friends or boss about your goal okay and then close your exam take uh, one to two weeks off. so this is a summary of what we discussed okay and then uh summary continuing make sure you record your start uh time date in your uh, notebook record the end date have you can have a do not disturb sign if you are you're in a room whereby people keep walking in and out uh have your notebook pens and uh section of the dd remember the section of the dd that you're doing the, the dental decks that you're doing is the only section on the table the rest are in the box far away from where you are okay and only perspective uh, make sure you turn your, your 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 phone off or log off your social media the only and then uh when you're on social media only participate in in uh, in 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 social media groups on your study day off okay when you're off okay when you are not studying that day that's when you can participate and only participate in the subject that you have reviewed already because if you try to answer or look at the subject that you have not reviewed already you're going to have anxiety okay all right so that's why it's 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 better to to have all your resources beforehand and then stay off social media when you're do, during your study sec, uh, 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 session and if, if you want to reward yourself you can log back on at the end of your section that's why i recommend on on the days that you're not studying you can log on your social media and look at what's happening okay all right if you are on social media a lot and it's very difficult for you make sure you deactivate your account most of these accounts you can always go back in and reactivate them okay you just have to provide a reason why you are deactivating okay and usually they give you like uh, 90 days all right to deactivate and um, you can reactivate as long as within that 90 days everything is there okay you can always deactivate your account if you have trouble staying off the social media okay all right so this is the end of the uh, of the of our uh, presentation of our emergency plan okay remember this is an emergency plan treat it like uh, it's a it's a it's it's your patient 
who is in an emergency situation and you are taking care of that emergency so this is emergent study plan make sure you you follow the 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 the, the, uh, the steps that i recommended and you will pass okay all right if you have any questions again comment or email me all right good luck i know you can do it